Hello. Um, I just wanted to show you something really quickly that I was playing with the other day. Um, I've been thinking about getting an airbrush so I can airbrush some designs onto bath bombs, but I haven't actually ordered one yet because I have a million other things that I'm doing at the moment, so it's kind of been put on the back burner. Anyway, I was thinking, instead of using an airbrush, why don't I just try a spritzing bottle, which I have a couple of lying around. So I put some of my alcohol into this spritzer, and I threw in some of my favorite um, gold mycotype pearlescent powder thingies. Is that focused? I can't tell. Yes, now it is. Um, so I've got two different types in here. One is a really deep kind of true gold. And one I just threw in now is a much more yellow gold. Um, and I put quite a lot in here because I put too much alcohol in there initially when I started. Anyway, I thought, I wonder if this can, you know, be sprayed onto bath bombs. And this is one that I sort of did earlier. I don't know if you're even going to be able to see it sparkling on this. But I will show you if I can do this without making a huge mess. It's going to go all over my fingers. Okay, so there's a few sprays. I think the addition of the light gold is, was actually a really good idea because this is sparkling a lot more than the other side was. This was just the, the really deep kind of true gold that I put in there and this one is much more glittery. I'm just glad that the spray bottle actually works. I mean, you can see my thumb. Wee, beautiful. Okay, so I'll just spray it on here because I have some black paper. But you can see how amazing that is. Isn't it fabulous? Totally fabulous. Um, yeah, so I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. I mean, there's probably a whole heap of you guys out there who have already done this and think I'm a moron for not doing it earlier, but you know, sometimes it takes me time to think of these things. Anyway, yeah, so a few more of that, and wow, look at that. It's just amazing. Isn't it brilliant? Look at that, look at the shimmers. It's just beautiful. So that, my friends, is a very quick way to cover yourself in gold, basically. No, seriously, I've just covered my bench in it. Seriously, there's like a massive amount of glitter down here. Um, but yeah, I mean, all you need is a little bottle, some alcohol. Mine is 99, 99, not 99, it's 99, 99% isopropyl alcohol. I know you can get some that are like 70% or whatever. I would get as high a percentage as you can. Because the less water that's in there, the less likely you are to get a reaction from your bath bomb when you spray it. So I think this would be really fabulous for um, some darker bath bombs and coating them in silvers and gold and stuff. And also I was thinking you could buy, um, you know how you get the stencils for airbrushing or um, you can get those little kids tattoo sets that have the cutouts on them. Um, or even the nail art, I think there's little stencils for nails, I'm not sure. Anyway, buy some of those, pop your bath bomb down. I don't have one here, but whatever. Um, pop your bath bomb down, put the stencil over it, a few spritzes and you'll have like um, a, a lightning bolt or whatever, something, whatever stencil you've got. I have some stencils somewhere. My daughter has one of those fake tattoo airbrushy sets. I'm going to have to see if I've thrown it out or not. Um, and see if there's any tiny little designs that I can try spritzing onto the top of something. It would be really, really awesome. Anyway, I wanted to show you that because I think it's fabulous. Um, I mean, it's basically like a, you know, a body glitter, body glitter spray. I'm just spraying myself with 99% alcohol. Fabulous. I'm going to get drunk. Um, so, yeah, I hope that was interesting. You definitely need a... A micro or a um, pearlescent type um, powder that is really sparkly, really fine, but really sparkly works better. I actually love this gold. It's really good for making the gold nuggets, but this yellow gold worked 
so much better just now. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, I am waffling as usual. I go on and on and on. So I'm going to stop now. And I hope you found that interesting. If you haven't already thought of it, which I'm sure a lot of you have. But anyway, for those of you who haven't thought of it, I hope you find that interesting. And I will see you later. Goodbye. Hi, I'm back again. Um, I just thought of something. You know those little scrapbooky um, little hole punch thingies that you get that have cute little designs on them? Well, I don't have one of those, but I do have a regular hole punch. So I thought I'm just going to check if the whole spraying pattern on actually works. So I'm going to do it now with my circle. Oh, God, I just sprayed a crap ton then. Now, obviously, you're not going to do it that messy because that was stupid, but, oh, goodness me, nothing ever works, right? And obviously, you'll be wearing gloves, so you won't be spraying yourself with alcohol. But, yeah, that was the idea I was thinking, but, you know, in an actual nice design, for example. But, anyway, I'm going to hold this up, too, if I can hold it up, and I'm going to, or oh, maybe I'll just do it here. See, the problem is I need to be upright so I'm just gonna spray this bath bomb a little I just sprayed my hand but that's the idea right there see and then you've got your beautiful glistening bath bomb he's got a flat butt haha <laughs> flat butt um, but you've got your beautiful glistening bath bomb and you haven't had to put a crap load of mica into it to achieve it. So, and that will obviously just float off and, you know, adhere to the side of your bathtub, which we all love, I'm sure. Unless you've got something in there to stop it doing that. But yeah, there you go. That's one of the other things I was thinking of. And now I've just made a glorious mess of my bench. I'm going to go and have my coffee now. I hope that helped. Goodbye.